Hey, here we are, yes, Coach sir. Beamer. Well, it's so good to see you. You know, here we are both back in Columbia. Absolutely. Both having spent some of the greatest years of our lives, right? Absolutely, no question. We were here together and you and I had a great time together here when we were here before and kind of awesome how it's all uh, worked back out. What do you think of the season coming up? It's been a whirlwind, but I'm really, really excited about the year and players have been back since right after Memorial Day. They came back and they've been going hard at it in the weight room <clears throat> each week ever since then. And we've had a really good summer and, and uh, it's hard to believe that we're closing in on the start of practice and the first game is so close, but I, uh, I couldn't be more excited. I was telling somebody the other day, a lot of times when you get to this time of the year as a coach, you're ready for a break and you're ready to get away and go to the beach and, and you're excited about the season, but you're definitely looking forward to some downtime and things yes. like that. And I certainly enjoy the downtime with my family, but I've never been more excited about practice starting. And, and that's a testament to the people in this program and, and the players in our facility. I just, they're great people and I enjoy being around them. And uh, I was out of town some last week and was texting with some of the coaches and they were all saying, you know, we miss the guys and we miss being around and that's a good feeling to have and now we got to keep that, keep that going. Here we are at the State Fair. Absolutely. Do you I think can. your family uh, and you will have time to, to come this fall? I hope we'll be able to sneak and maybe celebrating a win uh, on a Saturday <laughs> night or something. So here, here are a few speed round questions about the South Carolina State Fair. Roller coaster, you in or taking a pass? I'm in. Corn dog or cotton candy? Corn dog. Prefer to go for lunch or spend the evening there? I would say evening. Go incognito uh, as the head coach of the Gamecocks or wear your, your garnet and sign autographs? I'll definitely wear the garnet and be proud of it. You know, I, I love people and love being around people and understand that's part of the job. So the more Carolina Gamecock fans I can get around and meet and interact with, the better. That's a great, great reply. That's why you're gonna be successful. Coach, I'm bringing you to the horseshoe. I, I spend a lot of my time there and, you know, uh, Williams Bryce and the football ops uh, center and the indoor practice field, that whole area is amazing, but this is the heart Beautiful. of the university. And I would love to think that uh, every Gamecock football player will, uh, will make his way here. Maybe we'll do something in the backyard of the president's house. We'd love that. Such a beautiful campus and beautiful, amazing history of this university amazing that you can have the University of South Carolina right here like in its own little world with this beautiful campus but then you have the state house right there yes. next to it as well which is amazing and we've had a, a, so many recruits on campus in the month of June with their families and we made it a point when we had official visits that we brought those prospects and their families to the horseshoe and we got out and walked around just so they could see it and it was amazing to me how many of those families on Sunday mornings when we recapped the visit yes. told me that this was one of the highlights and how thankful they were because you don't realize how beautiful this campus is until you get on it and walk around it. You know, as a native New Yorker, I call this Central Park. It is our Central Park that was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted. The uh, Maxi Monument was uh, designed by Robert Mills, so was the Carolinianal Library. Uh, he went on to become America's first great architect and mm -hmm. designed the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. So that is I didn't know hallowed that. ground right there. That is. I knew it was. You just gave me some history that I did not realize. Yeah, I can remember in 2010 when we beat Alabama out there in williams Bryce Stadium, college game day being here and college game day being set up right there on the horseshoe. So it's absolutely time for a college game day to come back and be set up there again. That was one of my greatest memories ever. We had other historic wins, of course, but <clears throat> someone snapped a picture of me, Shane, uh, at the very end. The scoreboard shows the final score with 0, zero, zero on the clock. Oh, wow. And I'm in all my glory. And I would say I've had many wonderful uh, cameo shots. That's got to be my favorite no right doubt. there. I no. actually have it have it framed. Patricia says, you're living in the past. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, here, here's my family. Here's my wedding picture, and that's beating Alabama. That's awesome. I mean, it uh, all, right it all goes order. together. Yeah. You got your priorities <laughs> you right. Do. That's what you I like. Uh, those were heady days. You, by the way, helped in, I believe we had um, certainly one of the top 15 recruiting classes, and uh, we had that special something uh, during that time. Talent, chemistry, uh, work ethic, 
but uh, that that's got to be the package that you're trying to put together now. For, for sure, you know, it's uh, we've done it here in the past. We've seen how to do it. We know it can be done. When we talk to prospects about winning an SEC championship, we're not talking to them about something that is not realistic. It's we've been to Atlanta. We've we've beaten Clemson five years in a row in one season. We beat Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, all in the same year. And uh, we're excited about getting back to that for sure and working hard every day for it. And you're right, we had great players, we had great people, we had great support from the administration and throughout the, the community and the university. And then we just had fantastic leaders and it's really been good. I'm blessed to have a guy like Connor Shaw and Patrick DeMarco and Byron Gerardo, Shaq Wilson, guys that were on those teams that are back working with us right now. DJ Swearinger has come back and talked to the team. So it's been great hearing their stories because you're only as good as the leadership you have on the team. And we had some elite leaders during that time and working to find more and more guys like those guys. Okay, a few more speed round questions, okay. uh, personal things. You're going on a one hour drive on your own and you can only hear one singer or band the whole way. Who are you gonna play? I've gotta go as a great Gamecock, Darius Rucker. If you had to participate as a Gamecock athlete on a team, but not the football team, where do you think your best performance would be? Not that I'm a great golfer, but yeah. hopefully I could contribute with uh, with Kaylin on her team yeah. or, or Coach McDonald on his team uh, from a golf standpoint. I played baseball in high school. I'm not sure if I can. Coach Kingston's got a pretty good team. I'd like to think I could get in there and be scrappy and uh, maybe be a pinch runner or something like that on the baseball <laughs> team, essentially. Yeah. Be careful with the next question. You, you have to face a pitcher and do your best. It's either gonna be someone from the baseball team or someone from the softball team. <laughs> who, are you gonna, who are you gonna hope to hit? I'd like to think I could get in there and battle. I'm not sure either one would be successful for me. Like. <laughs> You don't realize until you go to a softball game just how close that mound is. Well, I'd get in there and battle, but I don't know how much success I would have. Maybe bunt. <laughs> Good call. My favorite moment, I think, since I came back on, uh, I was on May 21st, uh, was uh, Coach Kingston uh, invited me to throw out the first pitch. I saw that. On that very evening, by the way. Mm. But the, the best part of it, though, was that, you know, uh, Coach Tanner, by the way, said, uh, "Don't, don't, don't climb up on the mound. Just stand on the grass. It's, you don't need that extra pressure." That's right. And I said, "Ray, I am not not going on the mound." <laughs> there you go. Uh, but I did start getting nervous as I they handed me the ball. A wonderful catcher uh -huh. uh, gave me the ball, and he said, "Let's do this." And I walked up on the mound, and I took a ridiculously long windup, which <laughs> most people don't do for a first pitch. Sure. But I hit the mitt. I oh. saw your pitch. Oh, it was, wow. It was impressive. It well, was better than mine. Not impressive, but thank in, you. I did it in April, and I'm still <laughs> mad at myself because I kind of I lobbed the one up there. You know, speaking of baseball, I brought a ball. I'm going to ask you to sign it if that would be okay. Uh, now, you think it's weird. Why didn't he bring a football, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I have a, a pretty well-known baseball collection. Yes, sir. And it happened, it happened after we were back-to-back -back, uh, world champions. Mm -hmm. and, and after that time, I would ask people like U.S. presidents, Supreme Court justices, and some pretty good football players to mm -hmm. sign a ball for me. So I'm going to ask I you to do that. To. I would love and to. And I'm going to add it to my collection. Well, I am honored. Thank you. So here it is, Shane Beamer, Beamer ball. You didn't know that was baseball. Go Gamecock, Shane Beamer. So coach, how important are the students to you and to our team this year? Huge, I've said it before and I mean it, that we've got the greatest home field advantage in all of America and I believe that 100%. I've been in multiple conferences, Big 12, ACC, SEC, and there's nothing like a Saturday in williams Bryce Stadium. Nope. And, and a big, 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 big part of that is our student body and that atmosphere that they have down there in that student section. Um, it's fun talking to other coaches from other schools, opponents, players from other schools, and they talk about the home field advantage that we have and how loud and wild it is in there. And it starts with uh, starts with our students and can't wait to see uh, packed williams Bryce Stadium on September 4th. And you can't can wait it. to see those students down there. Well, how do you feel about fourth downs? I mean, there, there's some philosophies and coaches out there, as you well know. Uh, Ole Miss this past year, they tend to 
you know, uh, go for it on fourth down, even though they, they may blow it and have a... Yeah, where were you on, on that? Is that also a, a situational more, thing? Yeah, it is situational. I'll probably lean more towards the aggressive side of, you know, of having confidence in your offense right. and, or your defense if you don't convert it to, you know, get a stop. And, and uh, I, again, I think it depends on how the game is going, how yeah. the other team is playing, how your defense is playing, how your offense is playing time of the game and all that but no I'm um, uh, I'm all for going for it when we can and keeping that offense out there and, and can continuing to convert first downs it's an interesting anecdote I, I've, I've hosted European uh, colleagues at Williams Bryce and it, they don't understand the game sure. but they're trying to catch it and they say well how many how many chances do you get to advance to get t you know the, the, that yardage 10 yards and I say four and they said but they only use three of them. <laughs> they and, got a point. But, but they do have a point. And, of course, I try to explain what the, what the problem is, but that is their inclination is to say, you've got four, you've got four uh, chances. Yeah, Why not use I'm them? I'm going to use that in my first press conference when I get asked <laughs> why we didn't go for it on fourth down. We're going to bring that up. Trish and I will be on the road Great. a bunch of times uh, with you whenever we can and hope to come in and chat with the players. But I'll tell you, I'll be more nervous than they will uh, <laughs> to come and, uh, and address them. And I'll address them as uh, the fine young men they are. i ask them to come to the horseshoe uh, again and tell them uh, we're with them and as we always will be. Yeah. No, I appreciate your support. And I know they have great respect for you like I do. And we're eager to see you over here and can't wait for you to come to some practices and visit with the team as well. Thank you. Well, thank you, thank you. Coach Beamer. This is fun. Go Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks.